<laughs> Good evening, everybody. How are you? It's Dev, the modernist colorist. I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody can hear me okay. Uh, you'll have to excuse the mess of this iPad cover. It's been through hell and back, uh, but I am going to need that later on in the stream. Um, is everybody able to hear me correctly? Hi, Susie. Hello, B. Bright. Hi, Janice. Hi, Laurie. Hi, Shannon. How are you doing? <coughs> You'll have to excuse me, guys. I'm just recovering from uh, a bad chest. Hi, Nicola Kiwi. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Debbie. Hello, Kimberly. Lovely to have you. Hello, May. <coughs> I'm fine, thank you, Nana. Lovely to have you on board. Hi, Naya. Hi, Kim Team, on salute. Hi, bro. Hello, Shelley. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, Pamela and Veronica and Michelle. And we've got the lovely Mort here. Hello, Mort. Hi, Becca. Oh, it's so nice to see some familiar faces. Hi, Janice. I'll be showing one of your books uh, later, Janice, uh, of your happy mail. Hi, Margaret. Hello, Karen. Lovely to have you on board. Oh, it's, uh, it's a lot better than it was, Nana. I can tell you. <clears throat> so how is everybody? I've got my, um, let's have a look if you can see it. Can you see my Chewbacca cup there? That's my uh, chewy impression. <laughs> hey, Tanya. <coughs> Hello, Mona. I, yes, I am. Thank you, Michelle. I'm a lot better than I was. <coughs> Hi, Sammy. Lovely to have you on board. Uh, me, me too. Me too. I love Chewy. He's ace. You wouldn't want to groom him, though, would you, Nicola? I mean, that would be a task and a half. Seven foot of rags in front of you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Nicola, I've had um, I've had six consecutive days of steroids. I've had um, two lots of uh, antibiotics. Um, all the pain and the soreness has gone now, and it's just loosening up. So hopefully, I, I, I'm on the mend. But I feel a lot better than I did. I have, Natalie. I have been. I've been to the. Uh, I've been to the doctor. I, I, it, it's only had a, a nasty bacterial chest infection and. Um, and obviously that required quite a bit of treatment. So this last five or six days I've I've been doing that. Hi, hi, Candy. But I didn't want to miss the stream just by having uh, by sounding about four hundred and three. So I just wanted to carry on regardless, as the beautiful South once said. Happy Friday to everybody. Yes, uh, Candy. Happy Friday. Well, we soon shot up, guys. We're already on 41 after three minutes. So that's uh, that's a real good sign of things to come. Uh, I hope everybody's okay. Um, I have tried to catch up with a few streams. I left a few messages today. Uh, I, watched a, I watched one of uh, May's. I watched one of Karen's. I watched one of uh, Shelley's, who's in the stream at the moment. I think I, I watched one of uh, Bunny's as well last week. Um, so yeah, I, I've tried to catch up and keep in touch or keep abreast. Um, no, that's fine, Sammy. I know you've got things to do. Uh, it's it's not it's it's okay. Uh, we've got May here that was a mod, and I think we've got Morticia. Is Morticia still a mod? Yes, I think she is. So we should be fine. But thank you anyway. Hello, Charlotte. How are you doing? Uh, 
Ah, there you are, Mart. Thank you very much. <coughs> <coughs> so, yeah, guys. Um, oh, let me turn that auto focus off before we start. We don't. We don't want to be doing. Uh, we don't want an heartbeat, do we? There we go. Turn that off. That should be a bit better. Uh, I hope I hope I haven't um, missed anybody. And you, Dev Naya. What what we and me, Dev. Sorry, now I must have missed that, love. Hello, Kim. I didn't even see you there. Chopped liver. <laughs> Uh, I did see you there because I did a mod salute. Sorry, I, I just didn't. It's because I couldn't see you at the time. That was all it was. Nothing, uh, <laughs> nothing uh, intentional, as you know. Uh, I love having you here. Um, oh, Dev, remember that you showed us some music you like? I do remember, Charlotte. Which particular music was it? So today, guys, uh, is the first day. Oh, sorry, Naya. Yeah, I, I have something you should check out. Oh, brilliant, Charlotte. Uh, you can either send me a link on Instagram or send me an email or whatever, or you can put it on here and I can check it out later. I know. I, I deserve it for forgetting you, Kim. You're one of, you're one of my favourite mods. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Rona. Um, so today, guys, is the uh, is the first day of um, Feather Castell. Uh, I will write that down for you, just in case um, you know there's a spelling mistake or something. And it is for uh, well, it, it 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 is for Instagram, uh, but I am going to use it on here as well. So we're doing hashtag Feather Castell. Obviously, for the uh, month of February. Uh, I don't. <coughs> it's a bit corny, but I like it. I think it's quite uh, quite dapper. Faber, yes. No, it's going to be Feber. Hello, Joan. Lovely to have you on board. How are you, Joan? It is a mouthful. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, uh, Morticia. Thanks for typing it up, love. Hi, Dusty. Oh, good to good to know that you're okay, John. So, all right, guys. Um, uh, we'll move into a bit about the program today. Um, I have got a little giveaway to give away, and it's it's for nothing specific. Um, I I I didn't know until I was told the other day that I'd hit seventeen hundred. And I think I've gone beyond that, uh, 1,700 uh, subscribers. But it's not for hitting 1,700. It's just because uh, I, I was looking, and a friend of mine um, who doesn't want to be named, but uh, she, she messaged me the other day and was explaining the uh, the views um, on, on, on some of my videos. And I can't thank you enough, guys. It, it is so... Hello, Pickle. Hello, Wendy. Hello, cat and paste. Yeah, it's so it's so um, lovely to see that you, you you're still supporting, and um, you know uh, because of that, I've just got a little bit of a giveaway, uh, and I'll I'll think of something throughout the stream. I haven't planned it, so I'm going to be honest. But I have got a full pack of sharpies to give away, and a full pack of Crayola Crayola Pro brush tips, which you cannot buy, um, and I'm going to give those out just just as a random gift. Just, just as my way of thanking you for sticking with me, guys. Um, I think I've only done 30-odd videos, but, you know, my view counts have just gone through the roof. Hello, Louise. Nice to have you here. And you're back, are you, Shannon? Hello, Lavella. Hi, Grace. 
Um, I I hadn't given uh, Naya. I had a big box full given by um, by somebody who drew who used to draw for a magazine. Uh, well, I I split the box actually. Me, me and somebody else on another channel. He had he had half a box and I had half a box. Uh, I have only given a few out at the moment because uh, they are quite rare. I think Sammy's got some. Uh, unfortunately, I gave some to somebody else, but I'll never get those back. But anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I have got uh, I have got a few more, and I'm going to scatter them out throughout the year. Hello, DD. Oh, that's nice of you just to say hi. Thank you. So yeah, guys. Um, as we move on, uh, so today is about Faber Castell, as as we've uh, already mentioned. So to follow along, really, it, there's nothing difficult about it. Um, you know, we, you can use any medium whatsoever uh, for Feather Castell. Um, I currently have the um, the Faber Castell, uh, the pit pens in a box. These can be used as to the polychromos, as to the gold Faber. Um, I did actually, Kim, yes, you're right. Um, Oh, thank you, Dee Dee. I, I love having you here. Thanks, thanks for that. Hello, Mama Wilkes. Long time no speak. <laughs> so yeah, you, you can use the classics. You can use anything. Uh, I mean, it may well be that you've got uh, pastel blocks or anything like that. Um, but just something that would tie. The, 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 I've had these about two years, Sammy. Uh, they were one of the first things I ever bought before I bought pencils. And um, so. Where was I? Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> yeah, so there's just a few books I'd like to show you in between. Uh, there's only there's only one coloring book. Uh, there's a few textbooks that I want to show you, and one happy mail. And then we're going to get cracking on with the picture. Um, so, yeah, I, you, you don't need to have anything in specific. There, there is quite a lot on the market. Uh, I mean, I, I know a lot of people have got polychromos anyway, but you know that there is even the Faber Castell, which I'll just get you guys if you wait one second. I actually forgot to link these guys, but I'll put this. I've put all the links in prior to the video, and then I went and forgot one. But I'll do it at the end. And you can even use these connector pens, these Faber Castell connector pens. These are a sixty pack, and they're really good for things like. Um, you know the uh, color by numbers and stuff, but they all stick together like that. Look, so you, you know you've got all the colors. You just take them out, stick them together, um, and the, the they're reasonably cheap actually. Um, they've got a decent tip on them, as you can see. Um, they're nothing spectacular. I mean, they're no pit pen by any means, but you know uh, it, it still can be incorporated within the. Uh, the Faber Castell hashtag by by a million miles. So there is those as well, which I did forget, but I will put a link to those at the end. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Shannon. Uh, I, I won't start singing then. Uh, but they, these these were reasonably uh, cheap. I can't remember how much they were at the moment off the top of my head. Uh, but they are pretty cool. And... Um, they go obviously they go within the uh, within the remit. So the first thing I'd like to show you, obviously, the, the, there are links to these products, is the Fabrica Still uh, Fabrica Still sixty pit pens. Now these come in a bit of a posh box here, uh, which is a, a kind of uh, a string opening, and then as you can see up here, guys, you get the you get the leaflet, the pit pen. Uh, which tells you all about the pen. It tells you all about the colours down here. About thirteen pounds, I think, Shelley. Thank you. I mean, yeah, thirteen pounds for sixty pens, guys. So I mean, yeah, that you know, for Faber Castell as well. You know, they're they're not very expensive at all. Uh, and like I said, they are good for things uh, if you enjoy the colour by numbers and the uh, um, what's those uh, books that 
Zoe Archer likes. Um, oh, I can't remember what they're called, but you know what I mean anyway. But these show all the different nibs that you've got. Um, they all show the, uh, the opacity. It also tells you about the, uh, the light fastness and the pigments, how the pigments are made and the quality. Hello, Kathy Bradley. Sun Life, that's the one, Kim T. That's the one, darling. So a pit pen in its singular form is uh, a pen like that with a clip. It has the, hopefully I can get you that there. It has the colour just under the Faber-Castell logo. This one is middle purple pink. It's got a clip on it. Uh, it's got the colour on the nib. And then you open them up and look at that fine point. And they're excellent for detail in these. Uh, and if you wanting to put a bit of colour into your into your pictures. So these will be incorporated out throughout the month. Um, may even get to use them tonight if we find something that requires it. I'm not just going to use them for the sake of it. So that's the first thing I want to show you. And just to get it out of the way, guys, I don't know if you remember when I showed you that the um, those pencil cases um, that I got that were almost like a suitcase. Well, I just want to show you now that they're both full, guys, and, and what they can do. Um, this was one of them. I don't know if you quite remember. Um, let me just adjust that a little bit for you. So I've put the... I think in this one, yeah, you see in here, let's just move that out a little bit. <coughs> Start at the beginning. These are the Holbeins. And when I told you that they, 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 they were a protective casing, it's almost like a hard boiled sweet. Um, <laughs> nice one, Sammy. It, when I say protecting, because because these are an expensive pencil, um, I, I knew that when 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 I purchased it, there would be room. And then look what it does, guys. So if you've got a book like the Country Fair, for instance, that goes in there with all that room, all that room. Just closes up. So not only do they protect your pencils, they hold 240 pencils. Oh, have you, Margaret? That's that. And do you find that it's really protective of them as well? Uh, yeah. So what I've tried to do is uh, I've I've put these out in in um, in the way that they came in the case, um, but. Like I say, I mean, look at that. The, the book stick, it just drops down. There's no pressing, nothing. Just fits in. So if you go in or anywhere, you just take your book with you, and that's it. So I just want to show you how they do work. I have left a link for them as well. And then in the other one, I've put the super colours in here, the 150. Um, so we've got that fine set of bad boys here. Um, and of course, they come in beautiful colours. And then again, you've got all this room here that you can. Um, who is the book by? Which book are you on about, Debbie? Please. Oh, sorry, the colouring Kathy one. Um, let me just get it out for you. <coughs> <laughs> I'll put a link in Debbie after I didn't put a, that one in because I didn't think I was just using it as an example more than anything but it's uh, it's the country fair and it's by the Colouring Book Cafe um, I think I've started one in here actually yeah I just started uh, shading that horse in here um, but yeah there's some lovely pictures in here I, I don't think the paper qualities of 
of anything of note, but you know, we managed, don't we? We manage. Um, so yeah, guys, these 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 cases are just unbelievable as far as peace of mind's concerned. Um, it did. <laughs> Siri, <coughs> Siri woke up. Okay, guys, so uh, that's just an explanation why they're in the links, because obviously I have had a few emails about how they've worked once I've put the sets in. And obviously there are two sets of 150 in those. And there's still 90 slots. So when, when you're getting um, open stock, and you, you you know you're keeping your nubs and and various other bits, or you wanting to double up and that side kind of stuff. There's there's an enormous amount of room in there just for the pencils, let alone uh, just for the books, let alone more pencils. You know you could actually fit uh, a pack of felt tips in there easily. So that's that. And the next thing I want to show you uh, is is because of uh, of the stuff we do and the coloring we do. Uh, this is a big beast of a book a big thick one and it's called the tattoo source book now this was a gift from the lovely janice but the reason why i want to show it you guys is it's an absolutely fantastic reference um it's an absolutely fantastic reference for anything that you want to if you come across anything of this ilk and you want some color suggestions, then the book is such a good quality, high colored paged book, as you can see. Let me move my pot of tea out of way. So, for instance, the, the, we've got sections on calligraphy, butterflies and insects. So, of course, that's, that's, that's a, a tattoo, but of course, those colors are quite well achievable, uh, especially the wings. Um, so all you would do is that is take a snap of it, um, run it through RT, the RT app, and it'll tell you what polychromo to use. It'll tell you what Prismacolor to use, and it'll also tell you what luminance to use. So it's 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 fantastic for that. Um, and the the images in here, uh, from from the very basic tattoo, right up to the comical uh, and to the more serious. Um, I mean, we've got a section of skulls, um, which I know Sammy does a lot of skull colouring. Um, you know, and we always look for those blends, don't we? I mean, if you look at this one here, for instance, you know, you've got a good four, maybe five colours in, in, in here. Uh, and that really makes a nice finish. Um, so, you know, you, you could actually... Uh, you know, just develop yourself a little bit more. Not that Sammy needs developing. I didn't mean it like that. But, you know, you, you, you can get good ideas is, is, is kind of what I'm trying to say. Um, then we've got, like, the black and white images here that are all done in, in greys, blacks, uh, and, and obviously the highlights are left in white. Uh, and there's some really good effects that you can use in some of your drawings with them and some of your colouring. So um, I have left a link for that uh, because it's it's a very worthwhile book. It's got let me just it's got six hundred and fifteen pages. Um, I mean, just this little frog here, for instance. Uh, it's got all the greys and the greens on its back, and then it got it's slightly yellows in the middle towards its tummy. All those colours covered uh, with the RT app if that's what you want to use. Uh, we have religious section. Uh, which I'm not too bothered about. We have um, music section, which I am bothered about, and and I really like this this dude here. I think that's a great tattoo. Um, but they, they they even have really small dainty ones. You know, if you're just wanting to add a small piece to an existing piece, um, but they are really really good. I think for for color ideas. So. I did want to show you that because it's a big beast of a book. It's a lovely piece of Happy Meal. And um, I'm really, really pleased that Janice got me that. She went out of her way to get it. I don't know how she carried it home. It's that heavy. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I want to show you that, guys. And then um, on a follow-up, when, when, I, when I showed you the Albert Dura, uh, obviously with it being a, a Faber-Castell month, 
Do you remember me showing you the um, the Albert Dura um, coloring book? And and I think that went on to uh, on to Didi and various other people after that. Excuse me. Well, <clears throat> I was quite obviously taken aback by some of his artwork. And I got myself the um, the textbook, which is like an illustrated history book. I'm not going to go through the whole book. I have left the link. But it just shows you um, who he is, what he looks like. Um, it shows you... Um, how he's held in high high esteem in Germany. Um, it's got some of his early sketchings and etchings in the book. Oh, excellent, Grace. You'll love it. Um, so it's got some of his early paintings, which I find fascinating. They've all got the AD little symbols, uh, which is... He, he was a good-looking chap, actually. Uh, you know, there's no escaping that. He's, he does look a bit like... Well, the, the interpretation that we give Jesus, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's, you know, he's no munter by any means, is he? So it's a lovely book. It tells you everything. And then towards the end, it tells you about his affiliation with uh, Faber-Castell, which I thought was a fascinating read. Um, so I just thought I'd include a brief flip through of that for you to look at, guys. Because obviously we have touched on it before, and with it being Faber Castell Month, or should I say Faber Castell Month, um, you know it's probably uh, as good as time as any to show it you. So it's it's a really quality book. It's high gloss. It's all illustrated in colour, and I have left a link for it. The author of this book, by the way, is Anja Eichler. Okay. Now, the last couple of books, before we go on to the colouring book, are just a couple of um, books that are around coloured pencil that I managed to get hold of. The One of them was recommended by a friend of mine called Harry, and the other one was recommended by another friend of mine. Uh, the first one is called Master in Coloured Pencil. It's, uh, it's a really smooth uh, sort of silky cover. Um, 93 in the house, guys. That is amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks, Lulu. Have you changed your name? Skip to Ma. Have you have you bloody changed your name? So this this um this one is more of a practical one than the other one. Uh but I'll show you some stuff in here. I've been having a dabble earlier and um For start off, you've got the comparison chart. So these are the Prismacolors uh, Premier. These are the Prismacolor Very Thin, the Watercolors. These are the Derwents, all in the Ultramarine. So you've got a full page of Ultramarine, Faber-Castell, Polychromos, Albert Dura Watercolors, Derwent Inktents, uh, Prismacolor Watercolor. Then you can put your own in here by each one, or if you've got every single one of them, Karen Dash Pablo, Karen Dash Supercolor, you can put the lot in. And then as we get through the book, it then tells you all about the papers and how which particular brand that this book recommends is better with different papers to the ones um, that, that, you know, we, we sometimes get loaded with a lot. Then it, then it talks to you about auxiliary supplies. It talks to you about rubbers. Uh, and it does give uh, a, an honest opinion. Uh, and there is actually a wrong and a right way to use a rubber, would you believe? Um, so it tells you about that there. Um, <clears throat> it's got a recommendations for a couple of rubbers. It also goes on to sharpeners here. Um, and, and what each one can do and what they recommend. And then pencil extenders and masking fluid and, you, and you know, odorless mineral spirits. And then you've got one of Sammy's trays here, look, with all the gadgets on. So I'll bring it down a bit. Um, and then, so 
that's just that's just to start off. Then you've got you you actual effects when it starts telling you what you can and can't do it tells you what a wax color will give you it tells you what a water color will give you it also tells you what a um an oil pencil will give you and then it also tells you what a wax uh with with um fluid will give you and it's these are the various different uh, results that you can come up with uh once you start using the book <clears throat> you know, and then you've got all these color grids that we saw before uh, in different colors. And you can fill your own in there with the different makes. Uh, it's got a bit about theory here. Uh, the hues, uh, the warms, the cools, uh, obviously the, the, the color wheel. Uh, you've got your own blank color wheel here that you can fill in and color yourself. It's got an example of a colour in here, uh, and it tells you on this particular page here which prism colours to use on this page, uh, and tells you how to go about creating uh, the, the project. Also here, um, there are two different grids of, of colours that you can replicate on here, uh, and again, which which it's all in hues, and it shows you how to do things uh, you know, according to how they think you should learn. So it's a, it's a wonderful book. Uh, it tells you how to shade. It tells you how to blend. It tells you how to erase. And then there's, the thing that I did like about it is it's even got a, a section on stenciling. Um, and, you know, there's quite a few of us use those for backgrounds and stuff. Um, and then it's, it's giving you the best the best options how to use uh, wax pencils together with watercolour. Um, so all in all, guys, really, really nice book. Um, there's a galaxy scene here. Um, and that's done all with pencil. There's no... Um, there's no... Um, Neos or anything like that on that. So um, I have left the link for this book, um, but I'll show you the next one first. Uh, obviously, if you want both, you want both. Um, but the, the, the drawings here that's done in pencil, as you can see, are absolutely fantastic. And it tells you here how to go about it and which stages to complete. So, and then, sorry, at the back of the book, there is a homework assignment section, which gives you various things to colour and draw with colored pencil um so all in all a very very useful book um but so highly illustrated it's not one of them that's just full of text and you nod off after two minutes you know you you, you can um you know you can really get a good concept of what the book's trying to teach you on that one uh, and then the final one is called the Colouring Pencil Painting Bible. Now, this is the one that's recommended by a lot of artists, but I would say the artists that are really, really up there as far as, uh, you know, the ones who are doing commissions and things like that. But nevertheless, uh, the, you know, never put yourself down, guys. You can always try and you can always learn something. Uh, there's a peach exercise here right from scratch. If nothing else, it tells you the colours on how to blend and which stages to go. Obviously, these have put the, you know, they've put um, a French grey down here with a canary yellow. And then they've added um, a dark brown and some poppy red to get this kind of effect and so on and so on. I would have never, ever have thought of using just in those two stages with four colours. I would have never thought that you would have French grey, canary yellow, dark brown and poppy red. So it just really shows you. Um, did anyone laugh when Dev said rubber? <laughs> I, I can't pronounce my arse properly. Is that what you were laughing at? I, I often travel to Bradford. I'm a bit like Jonathan Wass. <laughs> So as you can see, guys, it's going all the way through it. And then, of course, when you get to the end, you've got about eight or nine colours in there, even the peach fuzz. So, and then it does the same with the strawberry. So 
you know, uh, there's no way on, on planet Earth I would have known that you would have had those four colours just in those two. Um, and again, this is all about technique. It's all about uh, learning colour. Um, so I, I really did want to show you those two because there are some crappy ones out on the market. And uh, if you look at the reviews, uh, if you look at the reviews on these particular two books, uh, I think you'll find that they are, um, you know, really, really uh, highly rated. So I wanted to show you them. Okay, then, guys. So the last thing I want to show you before we crack on is the amazing book of beasts, which is the third in the series of these books. The first two were hardback. This one's by far the best of the three. Um, hello, Zeely. Lovely to have you. Wow, guys, 100 in chat. That's uh, that's some going. Thank you. Um, this this is the this is the better one of the three, and I'll tell you for why. The the other one um, kept the images a lot smaller. The paper quality was worse than this. And not only that, um, the hardback meant that when you broke the book and you tried to get it back, the stitching was beginning to come out in the middle. Um, so I'm going to colour in this today. Um, just just while well, we're just chatting more than anything else, nothing, you know, nothing too uh, taxing. But we, 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 what we can do with this, guys, is we can we could pick a small image, we could pick a large image. Uh, it, it's totally your call. It's your show just as much as mine. So I'm more than happy to uh, to start a big one and just do bits each week. Um, but as you can see by the quality, uh, there are some lovely, lovely pictures in here. Um, so what I was going to do is just do a few out of here and use the polychromos. Uh, this is by Angela Rizza. There is a link on my description for this. Uh, if somebody reminds me at the end of the stream, um, I will uh, put a link to the uh, the Faber Castell connector pens. So this is my uh, this is my case for my polychromos. I've got uh, this is a one eighty count. This this is a sixty and a and a one twenty. Um, I don't know if you can quite see that, guys. So this is another 240 pencil case. Um, and then at the back here, I've got the Prismacolor watercolor set, uh, which I've not used yet. Um, but obviously, I won't be using those this month. Uh, I do like my polychromos. They're my favorite pencils. And um, again, just in case nobody's seen them or got them, I've left a link for them as well. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is now pick the picture uh, and then I'm going to show you a little method that I've come up with uh, for getting the, uh, well, for picking a palette more than anything else. It, it, it's okay when you're, um, you know, when you're colouring things like, um, I don't know, for instance, a woman in a shop or something like that, you, you generally get a good idea what, what colours things are, like bread and, and um you know sweets and that kind of thing but when you come to fantasy it's difficult because there's no interpretation of it and i think it's all down to the um oh thank you brenda that is so nice of you thanks very much indeed that's my first ever uh my first ever uh, super chat thank you very much indeed and i will buy something uh for that, and uh, and I will show it you uh, on my show. Thank you very much, Brenda. Thank you. Um, so, so as far as a colour palette, for instance, if, you, if if you look at these learning hydras here, you know you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could go on green overload quite easily, couldn't you? And um, Okay, Pickle, thank you for coming. Cheers. A hundred in the stream, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Um, loving it. Thanks very much. Um, you could go green overload. So the thing I want to show you guys is 
you'll have to excuse the screen by the way let me get some uh i've bought my kitchen roll down <laughs> not to blow my nose on neither i have bought it for this i've got two ipads one for work which is this one which is battered and bruised um and then i've got one upstairs but most of the apps are on this one because i have it with me all the time so i do apologize for the hackiness of that so the thing i want to show you guys is that um let me just bring it up first of all so if you go into pinterest um It's building me a new feed. I didn't even ask for that. So that's the law of <laughs> live streaming, I guess. Um, so just bear with us, guys. The bar's nearly done. There we go. Okay. So if I go into me, um, into my home page, which is here, um, you will see that I've got a, a locked folder here with a padlock on it called Oh, thank you, guys. Always oh, purple, right? Okay. So I've got a, a locked folder here, but I'm happy to share it with anyone if they send me a request. Have, I, have you been Google Food again, Dev? Google Food. No, no, these are colour palette ideas. Um, so, for instance, guys, uh, I mean, this one's not acceptable for what we're looking for today. But you've got this cup of coffee here that are all in these five different tones of grey. Uh, that's actually not a black. It's it's more of a sepia. Um, so all you would do is take that picture and run it through the RT app. The RT app will scan it and it will tell you exactly which polychromos that you would need or which. Um, it, I think it only does uh, about four pencil brands i think it does the luminance the polychromo the uh the karen dash pablo and the prismacolor so if you were looking for something like this dragon for instance uh just just before we go there that is a lovely color palette as you can see that would go excellent on on the on you know like in world of flowers or something if you was um you know if you were looking at a page and you wanted it just as a limited palette and you wanted to do something in that page that would be ideal uh, especially in a book like like that now for dragons you could either look through your saved palettes which i'm doing now Or you can go on to Pinterest itself at the top. Um, go to the home page and put Fantasy Dragon. <clears throat> and of course, you're going to have all different images. So there's that one for instance which is no green on it it's mainly gray purple uh and some reds and some blues um and that one's got purple on it that's purple and green so you can get your inspiration from from there and then like i say if you do really want that particular palette all you have to do is run it through the RT app and it will tell you what pencils to dig out of your pencil case, which I think is absolutely uh, fantastic. Um, so I quite like the uh, the blue, purple and greeny kind of... Um, let's have a look. No, not that one. So, yeah, if, if you were picking that, you could do that and then just get your colours accordingly. So that's that. I just wanted to show you that little bit of a, a tipster. 
Um, it's just, uh, it's called Pinterest, Judith. Um, and you just set an account up and it's basically just a website of pictures. Uh, but there's anything you can possibly imagine on there. If you typed in Rusty Nail, it'd bring one up. Um, it's called, I'll just write it out for you, Susie. It's called Artie. So I'll do it on here. So you, you download the, uh, okay, Mia. Um, right, so there's an app on your phone called Artie, and all that is 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 a is it's a picture reader and it just tells you what colors to use as far as pencils are concerned by looking at a picture so obviously to to be able to feed that picture into uh, your phone or save the picture to your phone i use pinterest because it's 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 obviously such a wide variety of pictures on there with color palettes and so on um, so if I if I went back onto Pinterest now and I liked this dragon, I would press and hold that image there, save it, okay, then come out of there and then find my Artie app, which is on here somewhere, look. So this is the last one that I did. So for instance, um, this picture, I liked the blend colours of the, that picture. So all I did was put it into my RT app here, um, looked at compare, uh, sorry, colors. So as you can see at the bottom here, it's on poly, it's set on polychromos. So wherever I move that, this marker around the screen, this target, it will tell you exactly, as you can see at the bottom changing, it will tell you exactly which polychromo to use to replicate that color. So that's what I tend to do. So at the top, you've got this purpley kind of color here at the top. So you look down and it says it's a 98.8 .8 match to light red violet in the polychromos. Okay. So if you wanted that, you save it to your palette. Done. And then you, then, then, you just print them all out. We well, don't print them all out. You just got them all at the bottom. Get them all out of your case, and you will have every color that covers that blend. If, for instance, you wanted to either mix or change, um, and just bear with me. It's that long since I've used it. I've forgotten now. Okay. So if you wanted to change uh, brand, so those are your, those are your choices. Look, so it instantly brings up. Faber Castell Polychromos, the Prismacolor, and the Caran Dash. I did think, I thought there was four, so I do apologize. Um, um, it's now got just the three. It may have four on an upgraded version. I thought I'd read it as. Anyway, so as we said before, it was a 98.8 uh, match to uh, light purple in the Polychromos, where that marker is at the moment. So let's go on to luminance. Oh no, let's go on to Prismacolor. And that is a 95.9 .9 match to lilac in the Prismacolor. So then you would add that to your palette and you could obviously have that at the bottom of your screen. And then there you go. Uh, if you chose the luminance, I've not moved the marker. That is manganese violet, and it's a 99.3% match. So, um, uh, who's this Steve Henry guy? Is he a tosser? Looks like he is. Get something done with your life, mate. Um, so, like I said, I've not moved the marker. Let's just try another example so that you are fully aware of what I'm on about. So let's go back to Pinterest. Um, let me pick a picture. Um, so let's just say um, we were looking for uh, a cookie jar. That often comes up in a book. So I'll, I'll, I'm in Pinterest now, which is the website. So I go to cookie jar. Type enter, 
And then, of course, you've got cookie jars and cookies. Now, let me just pick something. They look too nice, these. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone cookies. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, all right, you've got chocolate, chocolate chip shortbread cookies here. So, right, you save that to your colouring palette ideas folder. Okay. So, and then you open that folder. So, you go to your saved folders, open it up. Okay. And you can now send it to your own email, but I don't do it like that. I just open the picture like that. You don't need the writing on. Screenshot it. Okay, so then you open the RT app. And obviously we've still got this lady's hair. Pick an image. <coughs> <clears throat> what am I doing wrong here? Just bear with me, guys. Right. So choose an image. Uh, it now brings up the cookies. So if you wanted to colour that cookies page with um polychromos for instance uh, we can go to compare um, and then go to colors so this I, I'll, I'll move the marker so that people can see it on this brown here um, right near the line of the of the biscuit so that particular brown there if you wanted to color and use these color palettes that is a 99.9% .9 match for Luminance's Burnt Sienna. Now, I won't move it. If you go to Prism Colour, it is a 90.3 match for Black Raspberry. And then if you go to Polychromos, it's a 95.1 match to Caput Mortem Violet. So, as you can see, guys, that... I, I think that is such a clever way of um, of being able to not just – you're not copying the picture. I mean, those cookies, I wouldn't even be using it for cookies. You could use it for anything, clothing or anything. Uh, but then when you've got all your matches, it shows them at the bottom in like a palette at the bottom, and then you just pull them out. There's maybe six, seven pencils or whatever it is, and you're away. So um, I just wanted to show you that little snippet. I hope you won't bored too much. Um, uh, and, it, it, you know, it can help you. Um, it can help what you do. And it's just something I came across and just thought I'd share it with you guys. Okay. So let's pick a picture out of here. Um, I think I'm going to start with this one. Oh, thank you, Susie. That's good. Sounds like I still need to come in. Yeah, I'm I'm not 100%, but I, I tell you what, Shannon, I'm a lot better than I was. Uh, so I can't complain at all. I've got a bit of a spring in my step. Um, that's no problem, Rosemary. I think it's, um, you know, I think it's a really good idea. And and the more that you tweak it, obviously you personalise your own pages anyway, don't you, Rosemary? You know, if you... You know, I've probably got things on there that you wouldn't like and so on and so on. But the more that you do that, the more you get used to your colours as well. So you get to know, um, you know, you get to know what it is. Um, but they are magic horse pills, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> they are magic. I, I can assure you that. Uh, they worked very, very well, they did. Okay, guys, so... I'm going to start off with this. Let me just, can I, you don't mind if I have a, cup, a drink of my tea, do you? Thank you very much.
as may said you're the boss of your page you are the boss of your page and it's you know it's not down to anyone else but you and it, if you come across a particular color scheme that you like, I mean, that one I showed you with the flowers, I, I think that's a really, really nice one. You know, you could you could think to yourself, well, that, the whole page in, that, in those colors, if there's a simply enough design. No, I won't, Sammy, thank you. I'm going to go and make a refill shortly. You know, and you think, oh, I want to do that. You know, I, w I really want to accomplish that palette. It looks really good you know, on a big page like this, if it were all flowers, then, you know, you've got probably eight pencils there that would show you what to use. And you can use the photo as reference if you want, but you don't even have to use that. Um, you know, it's just it's just one of those things. But I, that's the way I prefer to use it because it, the, the, in, the images from Pinterest can be brought straight into that app. Some apps won't take them. Um, okay, I'm going to start with the imp. Now, I know nothing of imps other than that they are little devils and um, they are also the mascot for Manchester United. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to do something that we could do together uh, and then go through it step by step. So I'm going to write in here um, imp. Um imp fantasy art okay so as you can see here there's an imp there fantasy art it's a bit different to mine on the coloring uh, page that's the imp here look that's written down there imp and this is the one i've found on pinterest that's a bit of a dark you know it's, it's a very well done illustration don't get me wrong uh, it's very dark it's very uh, gloomy but it gives you an idea of what an imp is. I want to show. Sure. I knew it was a little devil of some sort. But let's see if we can find a cuter one that would fit in with this book a little bit. Um, ah, there's one here. Look, look at this. How cute is this guy? And it's not too dissimilar, uh, but apart from the hat. So what I'll do with that is I will screenshot it. Go into Arte. Um, close that image. Choose my little imp. And because we're using polychromos, um, I'll go to colors. Go to polychromos. Um, and okay, so we've got my little, little pad here. It does list them in the bottom. You've got the choice to save 10 colours. So let me just get a pencil. Okay, so this is the imp. And then we'll keep these wrote down. Okay. So the lightest part here is on its belly, but we we don't have that problem. If we're going to do lighting on this, it's going to be, well, I'm going to do it face on. So the lighter parts will be on the side of the head the forearms here and on the front of the legs and then maybe on some of the clothing. So the lightest part here, if I put my marker down, is polychromos 96.3 match to cinnamon. And that's the lightest part. And then the darker bit next to it is Venetian red followed by middle cadmium red so we add the venetian red to the palette so we've got venetian red we have cinnamon and the other one was middle cadmium red And that takes care of the whole body. So I'll find those out. Um, 
It's a massive set, this guy, so just bear with me. Uh, middle Cadmium Red is here. I found that. Venetian Red. They're not the easiest to read. So Venetian Red. Where are you? Hey, Venetian Red. Where you gone? Let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Venetian Red. And then the other one was Cinnamon. Which is not that, that's Sanguine. So Cinnamon might be a little lighter. It could be, that's Terracotta. That is Ben Oka. So is that one. So where is my cinnamon? Is it this one? Yes. So just to prove it does work, guys, the, the three the three colours that that Artiat picked out for us. Are these three and look at look look at the blend look at the um, the progressional uh, of the three blend colours. So you you do know that looking at them that you know they're going to go together. So I'm quite happy about that and um, I'm glad I've been managed to remember for once to show you. <laughs> I have all these weird and wonderful ideas to show you things and then I get put off and then I end up not. You know, I end up not doing what I was supposed to set out to do. So, guys, I'm going to just sharpen these up. Um, just bear with me and talk amongst yourselves for a little minute. A hundred and five in the chat, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I don't know how many likes there is. It says none. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sure that won't be the case. Are you asking me, Andrea? Are you asking me to marry her? I've never been married. I've never found anybody suitable yet. You don't need an iPad near. You can use um, um, you can use Android, but I'm more than happy to uh, to lend you an iPad if it doesn't work on on yours. Now I've got I've got another one upstairs. You can borrow if you need to. There we go. I mean, look at that for a point. That's big doobies. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go in with the light colour first. Um... I'm not sure whether these are tights or not, but I'm going to do it as skin anyway, even though the arms aren't scaled before somebody jumps down my throat. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do the whole face with a really light shade of cinnamon, which is um, 9201, if anybody's keeping count. So I'm just putting a light shade of cinnamon in there, all over the face. And down the arms.
this imp has got long fingers. I will, uh, I will give him that. And then up across here, onto his left arm. So guys, what's everybody colouring at the moment? I didn't ask you, I usually ask. Um, I, I do like to know what everybody's colouring. Okay, Lavella, it's been lovely of you to come in. Um, I'm glad that you've joined. I, I know that you said that you were going to make a stream, and thank you. Um, it's been really nice to, to have you on board. And if you do manage to do anything um, for Feber Castell, make sure you uh, hashtag and uh, tag me on Instagram so I can look at what you've done. Nicola, you're finishing a whip in fairy tales. Uh, Michelle... Uh, you are doing Magical Dawn. Victoria is doing a swatch chart of Prismas. Um, Judith is doing Shalene's January Challenge. So everything. <laughs> Brenda is in the Sag Saga Ock Sagna book. Ladies of Leisure for Susie. Zeely Green is on Mythomorphia. Shirley is doing Mardel Rubio. Uh, Lulu is doing Mythomorphia, Chinese Dragon. B Bright is doing a Christine Page. Excellent. Uh, Shelley's doing Lines and Dots. Margaret is doing World of Flowers. Kimberly is... No, I'm arguing with my hair page, if that counts. Yes, we all get those days when we argue with a page of hair. <laughs> uh, Miss Pudwina is doing Birdtopia. Uh, Fairies 2 for Kim T, Enchanted Forest for Cynthia, Ashley uh, working on Scavenger Hunt, uh, Shannon, I didn't quite catch that, Shannon, let me go back a little bit, chat's going really quick guys, sorry. Uh, Becky tomorrow in Pit Pens to cover yarns and Sammy's, that's all, that's really kind, thank you. Uh, Christine's just finished. Dragons come calling. Join. Caroline has lost a colour in Mojo. We'll see if we can find a blackjack. That might help or a fruit salad. Dum -dum. Uh, Becca Cox, watercolour in Geomorphia. Uh, I bet that's really good, actually. You'll have to show us that when you've done. Christine Karen for Lizette. Hi, Lizette. First time I've spoke to you tonight. Um, Andrea is colouring Joanna Basford's Magical Jungle. Hidden Paradise for Just Lisa. Mama Wilkes is doing Fantasy Designs. Fairy Miracles for Pamela. Mima is doing... Oh, Waiting for Mysteria. Janice is Dark Crystal. It's a great book, that, isn't it, Janice? Uh, I, I, might have to do, um, I might have to do a buddy colour with you on that. Uh, you're the only person I know that's got it. Holla, Lizette, how you doing? Uh, Morticia has sorted the watercolours, needs refills, uh, doesn't want to buy pans, already have extra. Well, you know it makes sense. Uh, so, yeah, there's some very varied colours out um, at the moment. Dev, question, have I done the John Lennon in Quirkles? I haven't done it. Um, I, 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 um, I've not. I've got the book, but I've never. I've, sorry, I'm thinking of the one that Zoe's got. You know, the spiral one. I didn't know it was in Quirkles. Is it in there? If it is, I'll buy the book. I was thinking of those spiral line ones. That book. Hello, Selena. Lovely to see you. Oh, brilliant, Renlish. Well, we should all do a body colour in that. Um, we should pick a month and do, um, yeah, do do a buddy colour, all three of us. Uh, Natalie, I'm using the uh, Amazing Book of Beasts, which is the third one in the series. This is the newest one. Uh, this one, unfortunately, is not hardback, but it's better quality. Uh, again, Mima, it is the uh, Amazing Book of Beasts. 
It's the newest of the three. The previous two were um, hardback. This is a lot better quality than the first two. Uh, there is a link in the description for the book if you want to buy it. Oh, brilliant, Sammy. I'm going to order that book then. Will you send me a link later on? Is it, Or is it the one that I've seen with Marilyn Monroe on front? There's one with Marilyn Monroe on the front of a Quirkle's book, isn't there? Oh, right, yeah, I, I'll order it then. I know which one it is. Oh, is Amy Winehouse in it? Oh, man. I love that woman. I really do. She had a great voice. Such a pity. No, no, no. They tried to make me buy a beaker, and I said... They try to make me buy a key bob and I said, no, no, no. So this is just a really light layer, guys, the first one, which I'm going to be putting down. Uh, I'm going to incorporate the other two colours, which are uh, Venetian red and middle cadmium red. Ah, brilliant. A hundred and nine. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs> Dev, these are what are my favourite pencils? If I could choose only one set, what set would I choose? It would be the Luminance. Um, but I do love my Polychromos. Have you got to go, Brenda? Thank you so much for that um, super chat. I really, really appreciate it. It's my first one I've ever had. And um, I, I, I can't say thank you enough. You're going to set me you set me off. <laughs> <coughs> I'm using uh, Polychromos, Katrina, for Feber Castell month. Bye, Brenda. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, Virginia. Are you in the West? <laughs> From snow covered Ohio. Okay, Lulu, don't be long. Kettle, you need some, uh, need some brews making here, you know, lass. <laughs> Lovely to have you in the chat, uh, Virginia. I do, Natalie. I showed them earlier. Um, I'll just quickly show them. You put them in a in a really nice case to protect them. Um, I don't know if these are not as super as these. Well, oh, these are them, look, Natalie. Um, uh, these cases hold two hundred and forty pencils. Um, and uh, really, really protective. It also holds a colouring book if you want to put that. Th this comes out as well, guys. I forgot to show you this bit. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this uh, Velcro thing comes out, and you can use it as a rest board on the, on the back of something if you wanted to uh, use that. I'm not going to take it out. But it's also got zip pockets in there and pouches. Um, I, I'm just so made up with these pencil cases. I think they're so cool, um, which is why I got two of them, because, you know, they're all right, those boxes that they come in. I think we discussed it before, haven't we, guys, in the past? You know, 
they're all right, these boxes, and they look all right, but they're just not practical. And I won't say where I'm from, but I would die in the weather most of you are experiencing right now. Yeah. Um, I, I've just had a chest infection, uh, Lisa. Uh, I've just come off. Um, I've had steroids and um, antibiotics for it, and it's, it's a lot better than it was. Um, but thank you anyway. Um, I've finished the steroids now. I've just got two days left of antibiotics and then um, touch wood or touch me head. Uh, I'm hoping that that's going to suffice to uh, to get me through through the dark days, guys. How I did it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I survived. But um, but yeah. So it's 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 um it's been a nasty one. But I've not had a bacterial one before. I've always had bronchitis and stuff like that as a kid because. Uh, I was asthmatic as a kid, so I always got bad chests anyway. But I've not had a, 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 a bacterial one to the point where uh, without... Yeah, get violin out. I'm changing streams here. Get violin out. Will somebody buy me some coffee? Um, what, 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 I, what I've done in the past is that I have... Um, I've made like I'll get I'll get like a bad chest and I've had a I've had a cough and it's one of them you know when you cough and it's sore and it's raw in the in the in the middle it's it's like one of them but this one um, I had magic horse pills for because without being gross guys it was coming out of my ears at one point there was uh, leakage coming out of my ears and stuff like that so it were, it were it was a nasty bloody infection, you know. And um, what I did with that one is that I obviously went to doctors because you can't just go into a chemist, I don't think, round here and say, you know, give me some up for that. I think they only offer you Beecham's or something like that round here. So, so yeah, that was that. And then obviously got steroids as well, which has really helped. So I'm more than chuffed with those. Um, but it's just one of them things, isn't it? <coughs> <coughs> I don't think I'll ever grow out of it now, Rosemary. You know. I I, I have I've been off. I've been off all week. Uh, even my boss said we don't, we don't want you. <laughs> I want you out, get out. Get out of this office. So they didn't want me either. So we have violin back out. And um, so, of course, when your boss is telling you that, you kind of know that you, you, you know, you, your time's up, really. You know, you can't argue with her. My boss is uh, is a fifty year old woman who is in charge of seventy three agents, high court agents, all big fellas, and every single one of us are petrified of her. <laughs> but she's really good. She's fair, and uh, she's she's good to work for. She gets the most out of us all. <laughs> she's really good, Christine. Honestly, she's um, she's. I mean, to to, to actually to, to actually be in charge of seventy odd guys is is no mean mean task, really. Um, but she's she's very fair. And if if you're a grafter, which which I'd like to think I am, you know, over over the years and what have you, she'll do all for you because she, she knows that you'll. Uh, you know, you'll do her favours and stuff like that, which is why I work away for her. You know, you get a good boss, you get good results. Uh, 
And um, I can't complain. She's lovely. She's nasty when she loses a rag light, but it's just one of them, isn't it? Dave, move the camera or the book. We can't see your work. Oh, I do apologise because it's a big book. Let me um, let me entertain you. Let me. Is that any better, guys? Yeah. Sorry about that. It's, it's lack of experience. I looked the other day, I've only done about 30 odd videos. Thank you, Sharon. So I've done a layer of uh, cinnamon, guys. I've done a layer of um, Venetian red. I'm going to go in with the, uh, the middle cadmium red. Uh, just in the really, really dark areas. And then what I will do after that is I'll go back in with the uh, lightest colour and then back in with the medium. So. You need a fair hand for this. I still not got a sign, Sammy. Uh, oh, thank you, Caroline. That's that's really nice. Uh, I I really think the world of you lot as well. I do. I'd help anyone out if I could. So I'm just tethering it up a little bit, guys, um, just so that when I come back in again now, uh, you might not be able to see it that well on camera, but I'll, I'll bring it up towards the... Um... Oh, night, Louise. Thanks for joining. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. I'm just going back in with the lightest colour. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I need the mid-tone again, just a little minute. To, um, to pull from the tethering that I've done. How you going, Lynn? Thank you. Still 99 in, guys. Wow. Excellent.
These uh, colourful cat lady. These are Faber Castells for obviously the uh, the Faber Castell month. The Polycuomo's love. Sorry, should have mentioned that. Just to give you a bit of an idea, guys, that's uh, that's our little friend at the moment. Um, with his with his three tone skin. Come on. Anyway. Right, guys, I'm going to um, just top up my cup of tea, if that's okay. <coughs> oh, yes, I do have Black Widow news. Excellent. Do you want me to give you that before I go on a break? Oh, lovely to have you, Margaret. I, uh, I'll speak to you next Friday, hopefully. Yes, news first. I thought that was. Uh, uh, I'll just wait while everybody's read it. Okay, the Black Widows are ready. As we speak, they're currently in customs, uh, having the having the uh, necessary toxicology reports done and um, the checks done at customs in Australia. They will be in the UK by next weekend. Now, whether I get a picture by next Friday is very doubtful. I, he's sending me a picture straight away. Um, and, of course, as soon as I get the picture, I'm going to stream and, and, and let you know what they look like. But they're on the way to the UK as we speak, having this um, this stop at the customs to get all the checks done. They're all packaged, they're all done, uh, everything's on its way. Um, so I spoke to him the day before yesterday. Um, uh, it was mentioned that would I have possibly a, a picture by next Friday? And um, he said it's possible, um, but... I don't want you to tell your audience that you will have, um, just in case you don't. So all I can say to you guys is that um, is that there there is a there is a likelihood I'll have more news next Friday, um, but it's probably uh, going to be either the Tuesday following next Friday or the Friday after, where I have the actual physical photograph. Um, and then we can have a look at what both things look like. And then, of course, once that, once we've got that, um, within days of having that, um, I do, but I'm not allowed to say, Janice, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know if that's his choice through rivals or anyone else because they've not hit the shops yet. I'm not sure. Uh, but I've been asked not to say. Um but my point, uh, the the um, as soon as we get the picture, we're only days away then of getting the tins. So um, obviously, the first stream I do after that, we can have a butcher's and um, and get one of these 
nice books out like um, Mysteria or, um, you know, Girls with Poem or something of that ilk. And we'll uh, give them a right good going over and see what we can do with them. So he it, it, it did say, to be fair to him, the first week of February, and he's not far off. Because obviously by, uh, yeah, there will be, Susie, yeah, they'll be on Amazon. And obviously by next Friday, which will be the 8th, you know, it's, it's, it's near enough uh, what we did, what he did say. I need to get a set of BW pencils. They're ex expensive, are they? Right, okay, English. Yeah, it is cool, isn't it? Um, uh, I don't know when they're coming to America. I, I would imagine not far off the same time as the US, uh, as the UK. Um, I don't think there's any preference. I think they're only coming. The, I think the ones that are coming here are just the, you know, the uh, display sets and the uh, promotional sets and things like that. Um, I think everywhere will just go on general sale at the same time, I would have thought. Uh, but the ones that are coming to the UK as we speak, I don't know how many sets there are, but uh, these are, you know, for, for um, various uh, things he's got planned with them and meetings and that sort of thing. I do be bright, but again, I've been asked not to say anything. And it's nothing uh, to do with, I, I think, I think it's to do with, should I say, the very fact that there are, there are other people um, uh, bonsoir, Bella. Bonjour tout le monde. Uh, I think there are other people wanting to um, jump on the idea uh, by what I can make out. So obviously, I'm not. I'm not going to say out live on stream in front of hundred people. But um, that that <laughs> really, Caroline. That's uh, that's really really nice to know. <laughs> Bless you. <coughs> <coughs> so, um, yeah, that, that's the news, guys. So uh, it's going to be, I would say, within seven to ten days, I'll have a picture. And then we can have a look at the um, the packaging and so on. And, you know, and then it's only going to be days away after that that we'll have, uh, we'll have some samplers. Um, no problem, Pamela. I'm glad you reminded me because I did forget, uh, and I'm terrible for that. Um, I think the first run will be, um, it'll be. Uh, I think, I think the first run will be quite popular, Rosemary. But aren't most things that, that people are waiting for? Um, but I, wa I was told there'd be plenty available to start with. So, you know, I can't envisage there being a. Problem. I mean, if you're going to leave it two weeks, then you know it may, it may well be that you don't get any. But I think if if, if everybody just tries to um, you know get them in first week, they should be successful. Yes, I I, I get the um, I get the tip, Caroline. <coughs> <coughs> okay, guys, I I will be as quick as I can, and um, and then we'll be back.
Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. <coughs> so I'll just keep up with chat a minute. Hello, Faithful Mess. Hello, Miss Pepsi. Lovely to have you here. Is it your birthday, Lynn? Happy birthday, love. Many happy returns to you. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to get the pit pens out, and I'm going to do. Uh, no, I'm not. I'll, I'm going to do all the mushrooms and the leaves in pit pens. I'm going to do this uni, uh, this little tabard thing that the imp has got on. Um, I quite fancy, uh, like a darky khaki olive greeny colour. I have a bit of a nubby here. That one is uh, earth green yellowish. And then if we go into olive green yellowish, I think we should have a blend on our hands. Thank you, Kim. Uh, yes, they do, Sammy. Uh, I think it depends on paper. But yeah, um, I've managed to. I'll see if I can. I'll see if I can show you what what I was going to do as well tonight, guys. And I forgot to write it down. Was the um, the color tuber tag that uh, Nick and Tina did? Uh, but I don't have the questions, <laughs> so I can't do it. I'm sorry. Otherwise, I'd have done that as well this evening. They do blend, mate. If, if if they're on a smooth paper, they'll blend pretty well. If it's a toothy paper that's quite rough, no, they won't because you, you, the ink won't move. But if, if it's like, um, you know, like the um, some of the Elena Lazareva books have got that sheen on them, you would be able to blend them that way. Yeah, exactly. If you on a non-porous surface, they, they, they will blend. But of course, I'm no expert, so you, you know, try for yourself. Yeah, Shannon, but it can be any. It, you know, it, it can be any. Um, the, the classics uh, are about $10, I think, or $12 for 60. Uh, and then, of course, there's the uh, these here that I've, I'm going to put a link to after. These are about, I think somebody said they were £12. Um, you know, £12 for the 60 set. And these are connector pens. So, yeah, there's plenty of affordable products out there. No, no dispute here. I, I, like I said, I've, I've used them. I've managed to blend greens together and blues. Not a problem. But there you go. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was going to do the color color tube tag. Um, but unfortunately, I, I never I never wrote the questions down. I was going to ask you. Um, oh, you've just defeated the Emperor's Jaguar. I'm addicted, and I think I've I think I've um, I think I've passed that. I'm not one hundred percent sure. I, I killed two Jaguars. Oh no, I killed one of them, and then the other one came face to face with me and gave me this big roar and then dragged the other one off 
Is that the bit you mean? It'll be an excellent challenge for you, that, Caroline. Yeah, Nick and Tina, uh, uh, where did you get the questions from? Oh, it's, it's, it's so addictive. I, I knew that you would like it. I just knew. It's a long game, and the map's massive, Sammy, that, you know, with all the collectibles on it. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, mate, absolutely. It's just got to have some, you know, it's, it's, there's, no, there's no stickler rules in any of my colour alongs. It's just, um, oh, from Zoe Archie, right. Uh, I, I, I don't remember seeing that. Right, okay, Sammy, thank you. Um, I'm quite looking forward to that bit then. Uh, so, yeah, mate, you can use whatever you want, darling. Uh, the, it's just as long as there is a product of Fabrica Stell in there, just so it's worthy of the hashtag, really, more than, any, more than anything else. Okay, guys, it's competition time. I should have said it's giveaway time. There's no restrictions. Uh, anybody can enter because it doesn't matter if you've got a channel just for these uh, little bits of pens. It's something and nothing. Um, but as you know, I'm quite um, I'm quite a stickler for um, the hashtags. Uh, the game here is the new Tomb Raider one. Um, the, the downloadable map is absolutely huge. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of this, loads of, uh, loads of puzzles. There's loads of missions, loads of side stuff. And, um, yeah, it's a really, really good game. <coughs> so... What I want you to do, guys, is come up with a hashtag for March for my uh, Instagram account. Uh, and the winner of that hashtag, which will be picked by me, will win um, these Criola Pro brush tip pack uh, that's got uh, eight uh, blendable, flexible pencil, uh, pens in there, brush pens. It's just when you know the map that you when you press the main center button and you can see the map, but there's no on it. Well, you have to get um, little maps in between that kind of show like a torchlight, so you get to see the stuff that's just in front of you. But the more of them you collect, the more stuff get added to the map. You know what I mean. Uh, also, there are 12 Sharpies, and I am going to throw a book in with this. Um, I was looking for it earlier, but I think I've... Just bear with me a second, guys. I think I've found it. Just bear with me. two of these guys this is the magical forest um 
by Jade Summer. I haven't seen many of these about, but it is a decent book. I've got two of them. Um, <coughs> but as you can see, guys, uh, it's very Christine Aldridge kind of book. Uh, it's got some lovely, lovely flower designs in. There's some fairy doors. Um, there's a bit of woodland creatures, lots of plants and a castle, birds and uh, flowers and fauna. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, it's quite a nice book, and it'll take those markers really well. It's quite thick. Uh, it's brand new. Yeah, it's so what 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 I what I require uh for the winner or to be a winner is that you make the comment in the uh in the comment section below. What you asking, Sammy, is the comment on this video and when's the deadline? Right, okay. The deadline is the end of the month. Um so I will announce the winner on the the nearest Friday to the end of the month. If anybody's got a calendar with them, that would be appreciative. Hang on, I've got my iPad here. Let's have a look. And then it'll just be on this thread. Um, and then whichever one's the best one, I'll use it. The winner, um, when I pick it. Okay, I thought it did, Christine. Never mind. Um so the winner will um i will use that hashtag uh for, for the coming month which i thought was a bit of a different kind of competition um where's my calendar on here let's have a look okay then so friday the uh 22nd of december yeah Uh, Dave, I find that stuff closest is hardest to find. It's right here somewhere. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, Sammy. That's brilliant. Yeah, so you've got three weeks today, guys. So it's three weeks today um, to come up with a hashtag for March. Um, obviously, the, the, I've had several different ones. Uh, so far, um, you know, last last month I had Manuary, uh, did a lot of uh, action kind of stuff. Um, this month uh, I'm doing Feber Castell, uh, and I did quite a few last year, and I can't remember what they were now, but I do like a little quirkiness with the hashtag. So um, I do, Andrea, but I, I am doing. I can assure you, I've not been working. Um, so all you need to do is just put your uh, your answer with the hashtag into the description, into the comment section, and then just put whether you're international or whether you are European or UK. And then it's just that when I pick the winner, I will know um, who to use and um, et cetera, et cetera. It can be anything that, that has anything that's related to March, it can be anything that's related to the colouring with March, but it's obviously got to tie in. Uh, I've thought of a couple of myself, uh, which I did last month, but obviously I'll keep them to myself. These are the prizes, and uh, good luck, everybody. And um, like I said, there's no specific reason other than, um, yeah, I mean, like tonight's stream, for instance, you know, over 100 people joining. I'm, uh, I'm more than uh, blessed to have you all come every week. So it's just mind a bit of a thank you for me, that's all.
Hello, Patty. It's lovely of you to join. Hi, Connie. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I do need a hot toddy. I've no, uh, I've no whiskey. Okay, you take Chip for a walk. Um, thanks for joining and helping me out, Sammy. Thank you very much. And enjoy the rest of you, your evening. Yeah, uh, it's nice having you here, me. I remember speaking to you on um, uh, Renlish. My, uh, it's the modernist colorist. So if you want to add me, um, hello, faithful girl. Hello, uh, Belinda. Lovely for you to turn up. Thank you. Yeah, I was talking to you on Sunday, me in um, in Shaleen's thread. Uh, we we kind of had the same. Uh, we we're on the same wavelength, I don't know if you remember. But uh, yeah, it's great to have you here. Thanks for coming, Mia. It is colourful cat lady, yeah, it's the modernist colourist. <coughs> Magic milk again, yeah. Um, I don't think, what, are you trying to put a link up, Susan? If, if you're trying to do that, it won't happen because you're not a mod. Um, but if you can't get on my Instagram full stop, then I don't know what, oh, Mortish has done it. Thank you very much, Mort. So there you go, guys, uh, Mia and, um, I can't remember who else we're asking. Um, there is my, is it Colourful Cat Lady that was asking? Anyway, uh, whoever it was, thank you. Oh, it's Renlish, wasn't it? So, yeah, that's the uh, link. Um, add me on there. And um, and that way, guys, we can swap uh, pictures. Uh, I don't know if you know. If you look on my Instagram from last month, um, Shannon did some uh, tagging for me, and she did all these superheroes. that were absolutely fantastic. And, um, oh, you just can't get on, Mama. All oh, right. Oh well, I don't know what's happened there then, love. Yeah, that was for the manuary um, hashtag. But you see, we're two hours in, guys, and we've done a very, very little colouring again. But. What do you do? <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. We've only got a little bit done, haven't we? But uh, he's pretty cute, isn't he? Uh, I'm going to call him Ian. Ian the Imp. That's his name.
Ian the Imp, that's the one. So I'll bring it up a little bit closer, guys. You can see there. He's looking uh, he's looking rather dashing at the moment. <coughs> <coughs> My brother in law is as well, uh, Debs. Uh, and I also have a friend who bought a St. Bernard puppy, and he called that Ian. Uh, and that absolutely creased me, I tell you. Right, guys, what kind of hair is uh, Mr. Ian having, do we think? I mean, looking at his, uh, his costumery, we need some kind of uh, mad impish hair, don't we? Oh, thank you, Ashley. Ian is looking cute. Red, black, green, pink, rainbow. There's only a little bit here, look. Uh, I don't know if you can see me, but there's only a little tiny bit. Quite happy with that. Yeah, there, there is too little. It's not working for um, for Mama Wilkes neither. I don't know. <laughs> Can you say my? It'd be better if you said my name ten times in a row. <laughs> It'd be more appropriate. <laughs> <coughs> Oh dear. <laughs> um, I'm going to give him brown hair, guys, because uh, he's got olive, olive greeny coloured uh, robe on and hat. Um, so I think it would look probably better in brown. So I'm going to pick, uh, there's not a lot of it. I'm going to pick the. So we can have the burnt sienna, uh, and I think I'll go in with the yellow ochre with it. So we've got these two guys for the hair. Hello, Mark. Nice of you to join. Thank you. Hello, Elizabeth. <coughs> Lovely of you to join. Uh, Belinda, I'm colouring um, out of the new uh, The Amazing Book of Beasts, which is the, you've probably seen the first two that are hardback. Uh, this is the third one in the series. Uh, this is not hardback. It, the, the, the third one, they've decided to be softback. Uh, but th the, what they've saved on the covering has gone into the paper. And the paper is really, really nice uh, on on in this book. It's better than the better than the other ones. Um, okay, then Shelley, no problem. It's lovely for you to call in. Russet, I love that word, Janice. Russet. Thanks for coming, Shelley. I enjoyed your video early on. Did you get me comment, by the way? So with this, guys, I'm just going to... The, the tips of the hair are just going to be petering out into, like, this, this browny-yellow colour. And then I'm going to go in with the... Uh, with the darker colour after. I just want the tips. And then his goatee beard's gonna have the same.
Yeah, not a problem, Belinda. It's a nice book, actually. It's, it's a lot better than the other two. In my opinion, of course. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Judy. <coughs> oh, cool. I'll have a look later, Shelley. Um, yeah, I just want to know that I am still watching your videos. Thank you. Uh, definitely. Uh, I, I never miss Shaleen's, ever. Uh, I, I always, always try and hit Shaleen's stream. It's one, it probably is my favourite one to visit. It's an absolute, it's so funny. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll be there, no doubt. No danger, should I say. So I'm just getting the black out, guys, just for the uh, a bit of belt detail here. I'm not so bad now, Cindy. I'm a lot better than I was, thank you. But thank you for your uh, kind words. Um, when I finished the stream early the, last week, whenever it was, uh, I knew someone wasn't right then.
<clears throat> so what's everybody got planned for the rest of the weekend then, guys? I'm uh, I'm working away, but I'm travelling down Sunday night. Um, tomorrow, just rest, recuperation again. Nice food. Yeah, a few people said that, Connie. Um, I don't know if that's why I prefer the polychromos or not uh it ten, i tend to put light layers on it just takes me a long time So, colouring cleaning. You may go on a date, Susie. Whoa. Oh, thank you, Becky. I'll bring it up a bit closer so you can have a look at it. Can't get it to focus for whatever reason. Man, do I have to take note of focus off? Um, let me just put it back on for a minute. De -de 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 -de. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we can see him a bit better now, can't we? That's Ian, guys. Ah, me too, Natalie. I think it's lovely. It is cold out. <laughs> yes, Sharon. Yes, Shannon. Uh, I, that's already been uh, addressed. <coughs> What what kind of uh, date is it, Susie? Is it a first date? Is it, um, mind you, how nosy am I being? Tell me to mind my own business. With the pencils, yes, of course. I knew what you meant. I'm not sure if it's a coin or not, Janice. I think it is. Um... We may have to put a bit of glitter pen on that. What do you reckon? A gold glitter pen. Yeah, I think it is a coin, uh, Judy. Oh, really, Victoria? That should be cool. Thank you, Caroline. Cooking some dinner, that's a good idea. What is coming out of his leg? I think it looks like you mean this here at the end of his tail. You know the uh, the jingly bauble things on end of a jester's hat. That's what it looks like. Whether it is or not, I'm not sure. Yeah, I. I it's difficult um it's difficult to you know to get used to being light-handed but i had to do because i've got such big hands i mean you know i mean same same size as book and um i was just burnishing straight away when i first started and then of course that that it don't really give you a lot of movement scope for movement after that and um so I just forced myself to hold the pencil further back and uh, and take it from there. 
you know. So. Uh, I'm going to um, get these pit pans out for the for the uh, for the coin and find an appropriate colour. Uh, there's um, that's too orange. I think it'd be better with a. A gel pen, to be honest. <clears throat> Just with it being a coin. Well, that's what we uh, that's what we are calling it anyway, a coin. I had no problem, Erin. You've made it. Thank you for coming. This is true, Sue. This is true. This is very true. But somebody will say something if I do it wrong. So, right, I'm going to uh, move down. I've just realised that this tree's got a face in with a moustache. Could We could have some good fun with that, uh, with sort of a light brown tree and then make his tash all grey and mattery and greeny coloured. It's a really good book, and this is the this is the um, I've left a link here if you want to have a look at them. Uh, this is the first page of of the book. Um, I love a bit of a, and you've got various. Uh, you've got a wild boar and a sphinx, and then you've got spiders and foxes. You've got all these kind of uh, mythological creatures. You've got the goblin. And the ogre, you know, uh, something called an orc, uh, and uh, you know, so the, this cyclops is here. This and that'll be good for to to start. Uh, when we get the, um, I tell you what we'll do, guys. When we get the um, the skin tones uh, from Albert, that that's what the. Um, That's what we will use. That's what we will use. We'll try it on that one. So there's lovely, there's loads of different things in here. You know, so. Yeah, he has them. Right. What time are we on, guys? Uh, two hours, 20 minutes. Oh, uh, oof. I've left the link, uh, Andrea. I think Nick and Tina are going to be uh, upset with me. So I better call that a stream, guys, because uh, they're supposed to be on at 11. Well, 11 my time, anyway. So if you just bear with me a sec while I put everything away, uh, we'll then go over the competition details again. Um, and then I, I will be streaming Tuesday because uh, I won't be here um, but I will be streaming next Friday and I'll try and get on a bit earlier to give us like a two and a half, three hour show and then at least that way then you know it makes up for the Tuesday a little bit um, okay so yeah it's been lovely to have you uh, Susie um, Thank you, Ashley. Uh, yeah, if you could give us all a thumbs up, guys, that'd be uh, really appreciative. Um, so I'll just reiterate for the competition, guys, I just want you to come up with an hashtag for March. Uh, it, you know, you can incorporate anything to do with colouring or manufacture. Um, I have heard of the Tritone Coinos. I've got the Coinor Polycolors, uh, Katrina, and I really, really like those. Yeah, I, I look forward to seeing you again, Andrea, too. Uh, thank you, Pamela. That's that's nice of you to say so. Thank you, Morticia. You're getting good at this job. Um, so, yeah, guys, I, I just need somebody to come up with a hashtag for March, uh, just bearing in mind the ones that I've come up with so far. 
uh, uh, I'll pick the winner. The winner gets um, a couple of packs of markers and a book. Um, and it's been absolutely, it's one of the best ones I've had so far, guys. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, I, I do apologise for the coughing and spluttering and um, that kind of thing. Um, no, not a problem, Kimberly. I, you know, it's not not a problem whatsoever. And um, I will speak to you all uh, in streams probably before I start streaming again. Um, but we did we we toppled 110 at one point, guys, and that's that takes some doing. So I really really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, I will speak to you all pretty soon. I will just update very quickly uh, the description, and I'll put those uh, Faber Castell connector pens in for you so that they're there as well if anybody wants to get them. Okay, guys, uh, lovely speaking to you all, um, and I will speak to you all later. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll speak to you in the streams somewhere. Bye-bye.